Hello everyone, back to you to the fourth update for Download and also Isle of Wight Festival. So these events will be taking place this time uh, next week. So it's becoming into the um, reliable time frame of the uh, GFS model now. We will have to start putting some detail into the forecast before too much uh, longer. So we're going to have a look at uh, the weather. I'm going to start on Tuesday. I've been asked to start a little bit earlier when a few people will be going to these events, uh, sort of um, pitch up their tents uh, a few days before the events start. So we're going to begin on Tuesday. We're going to go right way through to uh, next Sunday, which, which will be the final day of both of these events. Just so that if you're enjoying the uh, updates at uh, Galsworth Beats for the Isle of Wight Festival and the download, then please like, share and subscribe and uh, let us know in the comments that you're enjoying what we're doing. So we begin on uh, Tuesday, just a few days away. Uh, now, Tuesday the 11th, where people will be heading off to... Uh, Donington and also uh, to uh, the Isle of Wight Festival to uh, pitch up the tents and soak up the atmosphere. This is how things are looking on Tuesday. High pressure blocking around Greenland and Iceland with a trough of low pressure sitting across the uh, north and west of Europe. Winds are in from the northeast, so the upper air temperatures are cool. It's a chilly air mass that we have associated with this blocking. Uh, pattern. Wet weather moving across England and Wales during the course of choosing area of low pressure bringing outbreaks of rain, some of which could be quite heavy uh, on Tuesday. Turning more showery through the course of the afternoon, but some of the showers could be quite heavy and thundery. So if you're off to pitch up your tent on Tuesday, especially at uh, to Donington, it doesn't look as wet down in the, in the uh, channel, but at Donington there could be some heavy showers, starting off with persistent outbreaks of rain and turning to heavy showers through the course of the afternoon. Temperatures look cool. It's a chilly air mass that we've got here. So where we've got any persistent rain, you're struggling to get into double digits. Uh, you're struggling sort of 10... 11, 12 degrees, which is absolutely terrible. That's an absolutely terrible temperature for a uh, afternoon in June. In any sunny spells, temperatures can get up to around mid to upper teens just due to the strength of the sun, but even that's a bit below par. So generally quite cool with outbreaks of rain being replaced by showers through the course of uh, Tuesday. This is Wednesday. More people probably heading to uh, these events to... Uh, pitch up their tents and it looks as though low pressure is increasingly taking over here moving in from the east this looks a very unsettled day on Wednesday upper air temperatures are cool there's a band of really heavy rain that is affecting parts of Wales into the Midlands up to northern England now whether or not that affects Donington it's touch and go but it certainly could do the position of that band of wet weather is likely to go a little bit further north or south of that uh, mean position but this is really heavy rain this is quite torrential rain uh, that we've got on Wednesday through the central swathe of the country GFS generally has had a little bit to the north of Leicestershire but it's a bit of a concern and otherwise uh, we've got heavy showers breaking out through the course of Wednesday as well those could contain hail and thunder and might affect things down in the Isle of Wight too Temperatures on Wednesday, well, we've got that persistent heavy torrential rain from the central sway of the country. Basically, we're around 10 degrees at best, 50 Fahrenheit. So, again, once again, that is an absolutely terrible temperature for a June afternoon. Otherwise, we could reach mid to upper teens Celsius if the sun comes out. So, it de it's dependent on when the sun comes out, really, as to uh, what kind of uh, temperature you get there but even if sun comes out it's below par uh, for June. Then we're into Thursday this is day one of the Isle of Wight festival on Thursday we've got low pressure drifting up towards the eastern side of Scotland and a cold front will be moving southwards uh, across the UK. 
A prayer temperatures look very disappointing for the time of year. There's a band of rain on that cold front working its way southwards and eastwards across England and Wales in particular, gradually being replaced by sunshine and showers out to uh, the north and the west. So there could well be rain for the Isle, for day one of the Isle of Wight Festival on Thursday. More likely, I would have thought, in the afternoon and evening as this cold front pushes southwards and eastwards. Rain also for Donington uh, and then probably brightening up to sunshine and showers through the course of Thursday afternoon. Temperatures really poor again, so kind of like low to mid-teens at best, uh, which is way below average for the time of the year. That's how things look on Friday, Friday 14th of June. So this is uh, day two of the Isle of Wight Festival, day one of download. And we've got low pressure to the north of Scotland. Upper air temperatures are looking very cool, very, very cool upper air temperatures moving in from the north. Showers breaking out through the course of the day. Some things could be quite heavy, especially through uh, the Midlands again. So showers suggested for Donington. Down on the south coast and in the channel for the Isle of Wight Festival, probably a little bit drier there with more in way of sunny spells. You're more sheltered from that northwesterly wind. Temperatures are terrible, so we're kind of like mid-teens at best. Uh, you can add a degree or two on, but we're way below average for a June afternoon once again. This is Saturday, week away, Saturday 15th of June. Uh, so this is day three of the Isle of Wight Festival, day two of uh, download. And again, we're looking rather showery. Low pressure is gradually beginning to lift out towards the northwest of the country. But the upper air temperatures are remaining very disappointing. There's showers uh, breaking out across the country again on Saturday next week. Some of them heavy. A little bit focused further north this time, but they might affect Donington less likely to affect uh, the channel. And uh, temperatures again, way below average, mid-teen Celsius at best. Add a degree or two on, but we're still below part time here. When those showers come along, temperatures will drop even further. And then we get to Sunday, the 16th of June. So this is the final day of the Isle of Wight Festival. It's the last day of download two. And just beginning to get ever such a slight ridge of high pressure starting to develop then. Just beginning to get this ridge building to the southwest of the country. Upper air temperatures, they have been throughout, are looking cool. Because there's a ridge starting to build from the southwest, it's turning drier. Any rain is mainly up across Scotland and Northern Ireland. So for England and Wales, this is finally a drier day. More in way of sunny spells. Certainly not wall to wall sunshine, but more in way of sunny spells. And what showers there are will be fewer and further between and will be lighter too. Temperatures, though, still look really, really bad. Uh, so best temperatures down in the south. The down low, kind of like mid to upper teens Celsius. For Donington, you're barely uh, scraping to the teens Celsius. I mean, it's probably over the top now. It probably will be warmer than that suggests. But the idea is that this is going to be a very poor uh, period, really. The temperatures are going to be way below average. There's going to be showers or longer spells of rain to tear on most of the days. It may dry out a little bit as we get to... Uh, the end of these events uh, next Sunday. But basically, it's sh case of showers or longer spells of rain and temperatures way below average. So as we've gone along with these updates, things have definitely deteriorated, unfortunately. And now if you are going to these events, then you're going to have to take your wet weather gear, definitely, and uh, also take uh, warm clothing, uh, take a warm sleeping bag if you're under canvas because it is going to be not only unsettled but also unfortunately really cool for the time of year as well. There we go. I can only show you what the charts are showing. Unfortunately, this isn't a particularly good period, but we'll do another update for you. Probably a final one uh, on Monday, I would have thought, and uh, we'll see what the charts show again then. Um, but uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.